So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question. I say that because it's short. Simplified questions are between one and three lines long. And more importantly, because I see this expression right here. So because I know it's simplified, I'm going to just directly rewrite the information provided, the expression provided, and I'm going to simplify this before even reading the question. Okay, so uh, 1.5x minus 2.4 squared, so I'm going to need my calculator for this. But just to write this all out so we can see all of what's happening, that becomes 1.5x minus 2.4 times 1.5x minus 2.4, and then all of that minus this 5.2x squared. And in fact, I don't need parentheses on this portion of it, right? I can just distribute the negative sign across. So minus 5.2x squared plus 6.4. So in my calculator, I'm going to just solve uh, the FOIL question that I have here. So first is 1.5x times 1.5x. Well, that's 2.25x squared. Secondly is 1.5x times negative 2.4. So 1.5 times 2.4 in my calculator, that is minus 3.6x. I have another, all right, so minus 2.4 times 1.5. So once again, I have another minus 3.6x. And then 2.4 times 2.4, I have plus 5.76. And again, just bring these guys down. So minus 5.2x squared and plus 6.4. So I'm going to combine like terms now. I have 2.25x squared minus 5.2x squared. So let's throw that to my calculator. 2.25 minus 5.2 and I get negative 2.95x squared. So those are gone. And I have this negative 3.6x minus 3.6x. Well, that's minus 7.2x. So that's all gone. And I have 5.76 plus 6.4. So 5.76 plus 6.4 in my calculator. And I get positive 12.16. So here's a simplified version of the expression that I was given. The question just wants which of the following is an equivalent form to that, which basically just means simplified and find the answer that matches it. So I did that and that is choice C. Okay. Now there is another strategy that's worth bringing up because each of the answer choices contain a variable. In fact, let's just erase all of this and kind of start over. So I could have said, you know what? I am not really good at using FOIL. I'm not really good at decimals. This really bothers me. Um, I much rather just plug stuff into my calculator. I could, instead of using the simplify uh, strategy, I could use plug in your own number, okay? Now, you know that you can use that strategy anytime there's a variable in the question, right? So we have X in the question, and the variables also in the answer choices. So what that means is I can create my own number for x, so let's say x equals 2. I plug that 2 into the question, so I'd have parentheses 1.5 um, times 2, right, replacing this x with 2, and then minus 2.4, and then squared, and minus parentheses 5.2, again now, times 2, squared, and minus 6.4. So 1.5 times 2 is 3, so I have 3 minus 2.4 and squared and minus, and I have 5.2 times 2 squared is 4, so 5.2 times 4 minus 6.4. Continue on, 3 minus 2.4 is 0 0.6, so I have 0 0.6 squared. 5.2 times 4 is 20.8, so I have 20.8 minus 6.4, again 0 0.6 squared is, sorry, is it 0.6 times 0.6 should be 0.36. Yeah, so this is 0 0.36 minus, and then 20.8 minus 6.4 is equal to 14.4. So this becomes minus 14.4, and then 0.36 minus 14.4 
is equal to negative 14.04. Okay, so I have that value. Now what I do with that value is I go over to my answer choices and I just plug x equals 2 into each option here until I find the answer choice that gives me a match for negative 14.04. And just to save a little bit of time on this video, we know from the previous method that choice C was our correct answer. So let's see, right? If I have negative 2.95 and I replace X with two squared minus 7.2, replace X with two plus 12.16, this becomes negative 2.95 times four, negative 7.2 times two is negative 14.4, so plus 12.16 and negative 2.95, 2.95 times 4 is negative 11.8. So minus 14.4 plus 12.16. I just throw all this into my calculator. Negative 11.8 minus 14.4. And then I'm going to add 12.16 and I get exactly negative 14.04. So again, that's a different method using plugging your own number to get to the same exact solution.